Okay, so I'm going to approach this question blind. I haven't done this before, uh, just like I would be if I was taking the test. So let's take a look at this. And I want you to go through these steps as you go through the question too, especially if you're taking it in the real test. So first off, you want to examine what they've given you. Looks like we have some diagrams here. And let's read the scenario first. The instructions say, use the drop-down selectors to select the appropriate access type, security group, and policy role for each system or entity. And then fill in the post-security review feedback to provide the organization. Okay, let's go ahead and read the scenario here. The scenario, you are a security consultant who's been hired by an organization looking for a second opinion on their security settings for their new cloud implementation. Their cloud implementation is with a leading cloud provider and the systems are in a public cloud space. Now, as you go through these scenarios, I want you to pick out keywords. Okay, so we're looking for some keywords here that are going to give us hints about how to answer these questions. So already I see some keywords. First, I see they're, they're getting their cloud implementations, the leading cloud provider, and it's in a public cloud space. That's a public, public cloud deployment we're dealing with. All right. The organization has provided a basic network diagram as they understand that network security is severely misconfigured and lacking. Your task is co to compare the current security settings and make recommendations specifically for public access based on best practices. You use this to update the diagram for internal IT documentation purposes. Okay, so that's pretty, pretty good. And then we're gonna get some, well this is one that, gonna be one of those um, questions that looks like kind of like a logic puzzle. As in, when I say that, I mean they're gonna give you some key piece of information. You have to figure out from what they've given you what they're gonna be asking. Okay, so here we go. The organization notes the current, from the current IT admin. The default cloud service credentials that I use for daily management were provided to you earlier. All right, so this is information given to us by the current IT admin. So it's gonna be from their point of view. We have a web server that accesses an application on the back end. All right, so we have a web server that access, accesses an application on the back end, a storage bucket. I think that's what it's called. Okay, so this is one of those where you have to figure out what this guy is talking about. Does he really know what he's talking about or not? That remains to be seen. I think that's what it's called. It's used for storing large video assets used by the servers. The videos are available for streaming to our client members. Okay, so this is saying that they have a web server that accesses an application on the back end, which is accessing video assets. So like a video streaming service almost, or a video on demand. I want to create different accounts for different systems that access each other, but I couldn't figure out how. Should we use groups with roles as well? I've been told that users can log into the disk bucket directly where assets are stored. Is that possible? If so, that can't happen. Okay, obviously there's something there we have to fix. Users probably have more access rights than they should. <laughs> I heard that using a secret key for access would be best. Remember, secret key is gonna be a symmetric key encryption. But I'm so over my head in this project and I don't know what that means. Okay, so the IT guy is way over their head, okay? Your notes, only internal users which are developers. Okay, so only developers should have elevated user accounts. Clients should have minimal access. All system accounts currently belong to the same security group. Okay, so that obviously needs to change. You never want to have everything on the same group. Uh, admin has not created any new security group. Admin should not use default accounts. Okay, that should always be, that should be self-explanatory. You shouldn't even need a bullet there. There should be four descriptive levels of security defined for permission types. Groups will provide the required permissions to resources. Customers can access only the front end server. All right. So based on our notes here, that needs to be changed. And applications as storage will not use user accounts for access. Okay. So we obviously have some work to do based on this. Now this is when I say, this is one of those logic puzzle type questions. We have to basically take these pieces of information and make sure that the drop-down menus correspond with that. So let's group account, none, programmatic, root access, or user account. Okay, let's see if that's the same for each of these. Looks like it. Oh no, 
users have something completely different. So these are all the same for access type except for users. Got it. Okay. So let's go ahead. Now this can be confusing when you look at this. What do you really? What are you trying to do here? What What does this mean? That's really the key with this one. So let's take a look back at the scenario. We're going to jump back and forth between the scenario and see what we can answer based off of these bullet points. So let's see, only internal users or developers should have elevated user accounts. All right, so let's see if we can add that. So basically, we're picking the uh, object that the users can have access to, whether those users are admins or, uh, or, or regular users or what have you. So who should have access to the container? Now this is the container where the videos are gonna be stored. Remember, in the scenario, it says that we have a video uh, stored in what this guy describes as a storage bucket. Now a storage bucket is basically a hard drive, okay? Or some sort of storage, okay? So some sort of um, cloud-based storage. In this case, we have a picture of a hard drive, so we're gonna say that's what that is. It's for storing large video assets used by the servers. So if the video assets are used by the servers, then the access type here, who would need to use this, this would be programmatic. We don't need a user account accessing this. The users aren't accessing the videos directly. They're gonna interface with the website. And we're not gonna make a group account to access this, so this is gonna be programmatic, I believe. All right, now we have a backend server. Again, this backend server is internal, this should be accessing the secure, the, the container, so that should also be programmatic, I think. And then we're gonna have uh, our front end server. Now, our front end server, this is where we're gonna have access, who should have access to the front end server? Now, should it be user account or group account? I think we should go with group account here. And then users. Users should have their own individual accounts, probably to access these resources. So that's going to be, we're going to consider the users as clients. Now, let's go to security group. Maybe this is going to make a little more sense. We can double check what we have here. Security group. Okay, so this is non-public or private. Okay, so this is going to be pretty self-explanatory. Is that the same for users? No, this is different. Public is changed to subscription. Okay. So the we know that the containers and the backend servers are going to be only accessible by people within the organization or by the application. We don't wanna allow users or the public to have access to that, so this should be private. And we need access, so it's not gonna be none. The application needs to access these videos, so it has to be private. It's not gonna be public, it's not gonna be none. So we could just do that by deduction. Same with the backend server. Remember, if these two are the same, the access types are the same, the security group should be the same too. All right, so that should be private and private. Now the front end, that should be public. This is accessible, this is the web interface, the web server, so that should be public. Now the clients, this should be, you can, if this was, if public was listed, I would say public, but it's not, so we should go with subscription. Now do they mention subscriptions here? I mean, it wouldn't be private and it wouldn't be none. All systems account currently belong to the same security group. Admin has not created any new security groups. Admin should not use default accounts. There should be four descriptive levels of security defined for permission types. That applies to what we're just going to answer. Groups will provide the required permissions to the resources. Customers can only access the front end server. Applications and storage will not use user accounts for access. All right, so that helps answer this question. Um, we know that these are going to be private then. That, that last bullet point speaks to this. All right, let's go to policy and role here, okay? So policy and role, external, internal, or subscription. All right, let's see if that's the same. External, internal, subscription, external, internal, subscription, customer, internal, subscription. Okay, so for most of these, the role here, this is gonna be an 
internal rule. Remember, this is private. This means it's internal. Same with the back end. That's internal. The front end server, this would have to be external because this is public. It's not subscription. And then the clients here, the users, their role would be customer, not subscription. Even though they would be per purchasing a subscription. Okay, so the, the scenario is hinting at something here. It's hinting at the fact that the organization is setting up some sort of video service where you would buy videos on demand or maybe a streaming service and you go to a website, you'd sign in. So this is kind of like Netflix from what it looks like, okay? This really isn't clearly stated, but we have, based on our notes, we have users, a front-end server, back-end server, and then a storage bucket or a hard drive that has videos has a web server that accesses an application on the back end. So the web server, the, the front end server, accesses an application which accesses the storage bucket or the hard drive. And the videos are available for streaming to our client members. Okay, so client members, those are gonna be customers. So right now there's no such groups. That really doesn't apply because we're gonna select the groups here. So some of these, the bullets that say what, had, what has already been uh, configured don't really apply to us right now. So like all security accounts currently belong to the same security group, that doesn't really apply because we're selecting what we're gonna change it to. Only internal, some of these are uh, very useful. Only internal users should have elevated user accounts. That's somewhat useful. Clients should have minimal access, that's helpful in a way. So we have to make some assumptions with this question. It makes it a very tricky question. Okay, I think we have this pretty locked down here. Would access type be user account or clients? I'm gonna say clients just because in the scenario here, it mentions clients, okay? Right here, the videos are available for streaming to our client members. So their access type should be clients though I could see a lot of people tripping up and saying user account. All right, so let's take a look at the second part of this question. I haven't looked at this yet. Post security review feedback. The management account currently uses, okay, so this is where we need some of those bullet points. It uses what access a blank account should be used instead. The development best practice would be to utilize a blank for any applications that are in development. All right, so what does the management account currently use? see admin is not creating security groups admin should not use default accounts all system accounts currently belong to the same security group so what are our options developer account external account programmatic root secret key user account so based on what it said if there's no security groups then the management account is using the the root or the well it could be developer no, but they haven't named it. If they haven't named it, then it's going to be the root account, okay? Because they haven't made any groups, not even a group for the internal team. The internal team would be the developer team. So if they hadn't created any groups, as it says here, has to be root, right? I believe so. Okay. A blank account should be used instead. All right. So this would be, I would say, developer account. A developer account should be used instead. Maybe. Are there any keys to this? I don't know. Let's take a look at this. The development best practice would be to use a what? Developer account, external account, programmatic root, secret key for any applications that are in development. All right. It mentions secret key in the scenario. This guy. He says in this paragraph, I wanted to create different account for different systems that access each other, but I couldn't figure out how. Should we use groups with roles as well? I've been told that users can log into the disk bucket directly where assets are stored. Is that possible? If so, that can't happen. I heard that using a secret key for access would be best, but I'm sure over my head with this project, I don't know what that means. Use a secret, acti secret key for applications here in development. All right, so I'm gonna pick secret key there. Take a look at this one. Uh, development account should be used instead. 
if they use a root the management account uses root access well we could create a group called developer but really that would be a user account so unless we called if we made a specific group we can call a developer account but it doesn't say that so I think user accounts a better answer here yeah I think so okay all right so let's take a look only internal users developer should have elevated user accounts okay so this actually applies to that only internal users which are developers should have elevated user accounts but it says that's a user account so we should use a user account okay because right now they just have root access okay so I feel a little better about this answer and secret key should be used for application development I think we're set here let's go ahead and submit this see how we do okay we missed one not bad not bad we missed group account for front end server what would that be instead I wonder if user account was an option let's see what it says here access type we got this except for the one storage container and the backend server should use programmatic access it's gonna be done with APIs yep this type of access uses secret key and will configure the front-end service to accept logins with user accounts okay right right so this should be user accounts the group account should be a user account there clients who utilize user accounts called clients okay so we'll call them clients here now a lot of this it's not super clear in this question but that's okay that's why we go through this blind so we we get this feedback uh, and remember when you go through one of these performance-based questions on the test you're gonna get partial credit it's not all or nothing with these so if we got 14 out of 15 we're gonna get 14 out of 15 points not that those points are gonna be one to one remember the you got a 900 possible point scale now these could be weighted so each one of these points is worth like four points on the exam something like that so we would get 14 times 4 okay which would be 56 points all right so yeah pretty good everything else was good the daily management account is the default account this is a root account and admin should not use the root account for daily management activities the user account could be given elevated privileges and used as needed which is why we answered user account there a secret key is used for programmatic access this type of account differs from a user account and used when systems integrate and authenticate to each other now basically what we're doing is we're protecting that access to the applications using a secret key or some sort of symmetric encryption so there's a lot you have to assume with this question so let's go ahead uh, let's do that one again just 15 right let's just make sure everything's correct close so we know uh, this is programmatic this is programmatic this is going to be use yep user accounts there it's gonna be called clients security groups gonna be uh, this is private private public subscription internal internal external customer I believe no, that's customer and you always want to double check your questions because right there I thought I selected customer but I selected internal I misclicked that happens a lot make sure to double check all already uses root should use a user best practice would be use a secret key let's just look this over okay I think that's fine I think we're good let's go ahead and submit that all right good we got that all right so that's that's that question in a nutshell this is a pretty tricky one because it's not very clear and some of these aren't very clear so if you come across your question and you're not super clear on what to do just try and use the clues from the scenario from the instructions to help puzzle it out because a lot of times it could be it could be difficult to really figure out what they're doing what they're asking all right I hope this was helpful uh, let me know if you're if you need any help email info at cybercrafttraining.com thanks so much mm -hmm.